What is wrong with her? What is her damage? Hello, my name is Megan Ruth. I'm a Canadian living in London, England, and I react to British things. So today I'm going to be reacting to Series 2, Episode 6 of Peep Show. I can't believe that I'm already at the end of the second season. Where has time gone? <laughs> but anyway, I have reacted to the previous episodes already. If you wanted to watch in the beginning, I have a playlist. I'll post a link to that down below. Just like the majority of my reactions, this video will be edited and it will be censored. If you wanted to see the unedited, uncensored reaction, I'll also post a link to my Patreon down below. Thank you to my patrons for supporting me, especially my top tier patrons, Joseph, Michael, Mitch, Brian, James, Daniel, Des, John, Reese, Kane, Thomas, Robson, James A, Andy, Des C, Hypno Bob, Chris, Robin, Gary, Paul, Lugo, Brios B, and Carl. Let's just get started, shall we? This is bad, very bad. The canal, perfect venue for the emotional bump off. Because if I start screaming, there's no one to hear. On the plus side, she's obviously confident I'm not a potential murderer. Listen, Jez, honey, I, I need to talk to you about something. About us. Here it comes. No blubbing, no garment rending. Yeah? Jess, I've got a biggie to ask you. Would you consider marrying me? What? Yes! Obviously, it wouldn't be a real wedding. No? Oh, right. Well, in that case, yes! <sighs> See, it's just my visa's run out and the home office called. I mean, I know a couple gay guys would be up for it, but I... Oh, Nancy, don't marry those gays. Marry me. Honey, you understand this would just be an administrative procedure, right? Exactly. The happiest administrative procedure of our lives. Hey! The amount of times, so before I was dating my partner, like I get like random marriage proposals from just random, um, random guys. <laughs> well, if you need a visa, if you want to stay here, if you want to stay here, you know, you can always marry me. <laughs> just to note, that is not a pickup line. That is, that is not a pickup line. <laughs> Something I would never do is marry for citizenship. Well, I guess it really depends who the person is. I'd, I'd marry for love, obviously. And if it granted me citizenship, then maybe. But not if I didn't love the person. No. Hi, Karen. Sophie, be quiet. You like her. I don't necessarily like her. Yes, you do. Go and talk to her and tell her you like her hair. You do realize it's me you're talking to, yeah? Not an Italian builder. OK. But I'll go and talk to her for you. Sophie, no. No, Sophie, no, don't. Oh, God. This is terrible. Maybe it'll go really well and I'll have a double wedding with Jeremy on Friday. Oh no, she's coming. Must think words. Funny words. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Say, isn't it funny, all the coffee? What's, what's with all the coffee? Listen, I'm just going to go over to oh, my God. stupid friend and grr, give her a good shake. But if you ever want to call me ab about anything, then I'm in the book. Mark Corrigan. Too formal. Lighten things up. Light, not slimy. Oh, can't retract the wink. No, just... Unless... Oh, God. See you. Brilliant. The twitching freak. Works every time. No. He's... No, it doesn't. No. Why does he have to be so awkward? Why can't he just say words like a normal human being? When are you going to say something, Sue Bans? I don't know, Mark. I'm having second thoughts. He seems really happy. Come on, you said it. She's Yoko, remember? Way, well, hey, guys! Now, Sam's going to be out in an hour or two, so... <laughs> Not to remember, or what? Yeah. Listen, Jez, um, there's something I've been meaning to tell you that I, I didn't want to tell you. Yeah? Yeah, it's about Nancy. I know you two aren't doing it, and uh, it must have got to her, because the other day, she sucked me off while I was having a whittle. Ooh, no. Well, yeah. Why did he need to add that element to it? Why, why did he need to add the piss element? No, he could have just, just kept the, the sucking, suck, me, suck me off part. No, he didn't need the piss. Not just as, obviously, but uh, right after. I didn't want to. Uh, she's obviously into that sort of thing. It was pretty disgusting. I don't believe you. Seriously. I wouldn't lie about a thing like this. Anyway, Mark saw the whole thing. Mark? Yep. I wouldn't have believed it, but I saw the whole darn shooting match. Really? Afraid so. Liar. Like, I wouldn't believe that. 
Mark is such a bad liar. Definitely. Fuck, I can't believe she'd do something like that. It was a lovely service, wasn't it? I know some people go for that whole country church vibe, but we were like, you know, who's this wedding for? Us or the tourist board? Yeah? Hey, Nance, you've met Auntie Helen. Hi. Listen, Jez, I've got great news. Oh, oh brilliant. What? The health club called. The receptionist job. I'm underqualified, but if I make it there by four, they'll consider me. Oh, okay. You're not going. No. Obviously, yeah, you must go. See you later, Jess. See you later, Mrs. Osborne. Health club interview. Like, it's really sad. Like, he's a, he's a huge piece of shit. But he, he, I, I do feel bad for him. Like, he's in a loveless marriage. She doesn't love him. Like, it... it yeah, I do, I do feel bad for him. It's a biggie. Really hope she gets it. Anyway, on with the wedding. So, how'd you feel it's going, Jez? What you make of the big bad world of media sales? I feel like every day quite a big part of me dies forever. Yeah, still. Welcome to the real world, Jeremy. Yeah, you keep saying that. So, uh, how's the marriage? Oh, good. Pretty good. You don't sound 110% there. No, no, it's brilliant. I mean, obviously, there are sometimes little niggles. Niggles? That doesn't sound good. Well, I mean, it's all about compromise. Compromise? Niggles? Jesus, Jez. You don't think... I mean, isn't it normal for there to be little differences? No. What sort of things are niggling? Oh, stupid stuff. You know, what DVDs we watch. Oh, right. Stupid stuff like what you do with your free time. Your life. Sounds like you're in a hellhole. It's true. It is kind of annoying. Last night we had to watch a whole load of Robin Williams movies. Oh, Robin Williams. That's sad. <gasps> See, this didn't age well. This didn't age well. Back then, this might have been funny, but Robin Williams is a legend. May he rest in peace. <laughs> she likes him. That is so sappy. He is kind of annoying, isn't he? The guy is a stupid little gherkin, and so is anyone who likes him. Yeah, he is a bit like a gherkin. You know what you should do? Get some Jim Carrey DVDs. Have an affair. What? Oh, come on. Welcome to the real world, Jeremy. Can you please stop doing that, Tony? You think people don't have affairs? Everyone does. Mummy, Daddy, me, you, John Major. No, but... Oh, come on. Affairs are great. They're simple and no one gets hurt. They're simple? Sure. See, she's what is called a bad influence. What's her damage? Why is she such a horrible person? <clears throat> Listen, Jeff. I, uh, I think, you know, it's time you left. Oh, really? What are you going to do about it exactly? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Nothing. Except stand here like a civilised man and wait for you to do the civilized thing and leave. Yeah, well, I'll just be getting some CDs out the bedroom. Brilliant. Probably looks like I was ready to punch him. Wow, I'm actually impressed with Mark there. Well done. When actually I was gonna use the Buddhist as a human shield. Oh, Won't Tony be back soon? Tony's never coming back. What? Tony ran for the hills. He's back in Lincoln getting his tummy rubbed by lovely mummy. Shit. But me and Nancy, we're married and... Mm -hmm. What about me, Jeremy? What about Tony? Where's my lollipop? Why should I have to go without a husband all of a sudden? Where's my piece of pie? The what is wrong with her? What is her damage? My God. Mama wants a wife, Jeremy. Don't answer it. But it's Nancy. Well, cancel it. Unless, of course, you want me to have a little chat with her. But you and your cock. I had an affair with Tony by mistake, and Nancy found out because I told her. <laughs> Why? Because of stupid honesty. Now we're going to stay married, but apparently our relationship is nothing more than a husk. A husk? 
That doesn't sound good. Do you think maybe if I plead and plead and plead, she'll forget all about it and things will go back to like before? Mm -hmm. Honestly. Quite honestly. Not brutally honestly. Then, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Cheers, mate. No problem, mate. I, can't I feel that, I feel like, I mean, cheating is wrong full stop, but it's almost better that he told her instead of her finding out, you know, on her own. But yeah, she won't forgive him. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. See you next time. Bye.